If you guys are looking for cheap and reliable coins, make sure you check out www.crazycheapcoins.com. Use the discount code AJ for 5% off. Link will be down in the description. Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Fresh and welcome back to another play review. Now today's play review is going to be on Inform Joseph Dremich. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Not completely sure, but this guy's card looks absolutely solid. I picked him up for about 15 and a half K and let's go ahead and look at his in-game stats. So going off his in-game stats, some very solid stats all around if you kind of ask me, you know, nothing too much in the red. Minus like the interception, you know, the defending and passing stuff, you know, not a huge deal. But going on to his skill attributes, thing that I really did like about him was this 86 finishing and one set that was for me was really underrated was a 75 long shots but overall very good stats for a striker you know nothing too amazing but definitely nothing horrible also has four star weak foot three star skill moves medium medium work rates and sadly this guy has no tra uh, specialties or traits now let's go ahead and talk about this guy's shooting so first off the first two goals i scored with this guy were just absolute screamers um you will see it right here it's in this clip and the next clip if i am not mistaken but seriously, they were just pretty damn good goals, if I have to be honest, from at least 30 yards out. And he managed to score those two. So I thought that was pretty uh I thought that was pretty good if you ask me, because this guy has 75 long shots in game, and I definitely did not expect him to smash it in like that. And considering he only has 80 um shot power, which necess which isn't necessarily the highest, he just launched it past the goalies to the point the goalie couldn't even attempt to save it. So I definitely did like his long shots. So on finishing wise, 86 finishing is definitely very good. Uh, I love this guy's finishing inside the box majority of times he is going to finish I mean that's just kind of how it is finesse shots power shots it does not matter because of the 86 finishing you can just rely on him in the box now let's go ahead and move on to this guy's pace now pace this guy is pretty good um, 81 pace on a card and I think that is actually pretty good he definitely does not feel too slow whatsoever doesn't feel extremely rapid but he definitely has a pretty uh, decent amount of pace now passing wise this guy was also very good as well 71 passing on a card actually looks really good for a striker and um Looking at some of his stats, I mean, I think he has like 76 short passing or 78 short passing, something like that, 75 crossing. So I definitely think that that is pretty good. And because of those stats, if you were to buy this player, I would definitely recommend that you put him in a two striker formation just so you can utilize more of his passing stats, especially his crossing as well. Because crossing wise, 75 crossing for a striker is really unusual because why would you cross the ball as a striker if the ball is getting crossed to you? So I think that's actually pretty legit if you ask me. So definitely pair this guy up with another striker if you guys are going to buy him. Now, physical-wise, first off, this guy was decent at headers. I mean, he was decent in the air, I should say. You know, he, he won a couple of headers, but he never really scored any. So, I mean, the potential is there because, I mean, he's 5'11 with some decent jumping on him. So, you can uh, count. You, you can expect him to score a header for you every once in a while, but definitely not every time. Also, has some decent strength as well. So, he's not necessarily always getting bullied off the ball. And also, his four-star weak foot was very good for me as well. I did forget to mention that when I was talking about his shooting, but, yeah, Four star weefu kind of makes everything better with the shooting. Now let's go ahead and talk about the cons. And one of the cons is just a really huge one for me personally, and is that it is his dribbling. My gosh, his dribbling was so clunky, it was so blocky. I just I could not do anything. I mean, tr I tried to dribble past the team, and it just didn't work because his dribbling is just complete poop. If I have to be honest, I mean, 80 dribbling on card, I was expecting. Eddie dribbling on a card, it feels really bad if you ask me. So, dribbling wise, it's a big con. Also, three star skill moves as well, which really isn't helping. I mean, if he had at least four star skill moves, maybe the dribbling wouldn't be as big of an issue. But because he has three star skill moves, you have to rely more on his dribbling. And overall, it just became a big issue. So, I'm giving this guy a nine out of 10. Because, uh, I mean, he was still a very excellent striker, but his dribbling and his skill moves wise, he it, it just kind of irritated me a little bit. But nevertheless, still a very good player, considering he only goes for about 15K. But nevertheless, guys, this is the player review. Let me know anything that I can do to make these player reviews more better and entertaining for you guys. And as always, thanks for watching. I am out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.